안녕하세요. Okay, let's continue Korean consonant. Last time I introduced you to five basic consonants, right? Do you remember how to write them? And do you remember their sound values? Like one stroke, second stroke, and third stroke. And its sound value is something like mmm, mmm. And this is just one stroke. And its sound value is like mmm, mmm, mmm sound. And one, two. And its sound value is something like s, s. And the next one was just one stroke. Sometimes k, k, or sometimes g, g, like that. So, okay. And the next one, just one stroke, like this. And its sound value is at the syllable initial position. It doesn't have any sound value. So before a vowel, it doesn't have sound value. But below a vowel, it has sound value of mm sound, mm sound, OK? I told you, this is a shape of what? Mouth like lips, right? And there is another lip sound. This. You can still see the shape of mouth like this, but you know, the a little bit extended here. And its sound value is sometimes sounds like soft P sound, like p, 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 or sometimes b. B, B sound. So, mmm, and P, or B, right? And its, it's stroke order is like one, two, three, four. Or you can write one, two, three, four. That way it's okay to actually I write that way. And as we did last time, let's add this ah uh, here and its sound value is what pa pa does it sound like p or b pa pa if i just pronounce this it sounds like more pa 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 but if if i pronounce this after another vowel then you know it sounds like more ba ba like that pa pa okay and there's one more uh, lip sound. Okay, let me write down here. So you write one and two and three and four. And its sound value is strong P sound. P, P, like this. Let me write a syllable like this. Then how do you pronounce this? P and A. Ah. Pa. 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 So I just put apostrophe here. And this is the convention. It's not, not, <laughs> I did not invent this method. So the apostrophe means it's a strong sound. Pa. Pa. OK. So. Mm, ma, pa, pa. So if I add a ah here, it's ma, and pa, and pa. Right? And do you remember uh, the, what's the shape of this? You know, how King Sejong invented this n sound? He designed this considering our shape of our tongue. Mm, 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 mm. And there's another tongue sound like this. Okay. So one and two. And its sound value is sometimes something like soft T sound. Or D sound. So you you can you'll see the similar pattern again and again. And if we make a syllable like this, 
ta 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 okay ta ta and if we add one more line here so here to here i just added one more line here its sound value is strong t sound so i put apostrophe as i did here t t something like this t t the stroke order is 1 2 3 and some people one, two, three. That is fine too. And let me add R here to make it easier to pronounce. Its sound value is ta. Ta. What was this? Ta. Ta. And ta. Ta. Do you hear the difference? This was pa. Pa. And this was ta. Ha. So you can see similar patterns here. Okay, tongue sound, d, t, da, ta, and there's actually one more tongue sound. It's a little complicated, so please take a look at this carefully. So three strokes. One, two, three. Its sound value is <laughs> similar to R sound, a flipped R sound, like r, 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 something like that. Or so sometimes similar to O sound, l, 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 l sound, l sound. Because this one letter represents sometimes something like a r, r sound, R sound, and sometimes something like L sound. When Korean people learn English, they, including me, they have a hard time distinguishing between L sound and R sound. So Korean people may say, I, I ate rice today. And maybe you know, he meant, he or she meant rice, rice, but they pronounce it rice. So you know, we don't eat rice, we eat rice, right? <laughs> Korean, this letter, uh, r, r, or u uh, sound is, you know, difficult, a little difficult. Let me add a uh, here. So before this uh, vowel, it is more likely to be pronounced like flipped R sound. Ra, 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 ra. It's not like ra, like in, in English, r sound. It's a little bit different. Ra, 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 ra. Ra. Just, you know, listen a lot and try to imitate Korean native speaker's pronunciation, okay? So tongue sound. Na, da, ta, ra. And this S sound. Sa, sa, you remember sa, sa, right? And we have to write a little below here. We can add one more line here, and like this. So, one and two. And if you see textbook, the font look like this. So it's just a computer font. When you actually write with your hand, this is a better way. So please write this here. Just one stroke and this. One, two, three. This is not wrong, but I prefer, you know, I recommend you to write this way when you write, you know, Korean. And each sound value is soft CH sound, like ch, 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 or J sound, j, j, like this. So, if we add a ah here, it's cha, cha, cha. How does it sound? Is it like this or this? Cha, 
cha. If we just pronounce this, it's more like this. But at, at certain position, after another vowel or another, you know, certain consonants, we pronounce more like cha, cha, cha. And if you know this, the next one is easy. You can add one short line above here, like this, like this, and this, a little bit slanted, a little bit slanted like this. So this is the first stroke, second stroke, and third stroke. And its sound value is strong CH sound like this and you remember how to put you know the strong strength of this sound how to mark that by apostrophe here and its sound value is cha 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 and cha 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 can you hear the difference okay and this one, k, 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 k. We can add, we can add one more line here, here, like this. So, one and two. And its sound value is Strong K sound, strong K sound. So this was K or G, and this is K, K. And if we add R here, its sound value is K, K, K. Okay? And this last one, it doesn't have sound value right here. Ah, if you add just ah here, it's ah. And if you add, you know, this circle again, you know, down here, it's ang, ang, right? And you can add two lines like this. So one short slanted line and a little longer horizontal line here and this circle here and its sound value is something like H sound. So it can come before a vowel like this. So its sound value is ha ha ha. Okay. So from the basic ones, uh, let me just add R ah to these basic ones. This was ma, na, sa, ka. And even though it doesn't have sound value, let me just write down like this. Ah, right? Ma, na, sa, ka. Ah, and then from here, we can make this, and this is pa, pa, and this is pa, pa, and this is na, and this is what's what's this? Cha t or d, ta, ta, and this is strong t sound, ta, ta. And another tongue sound, r, 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 or r, uh, ra, ra, ra. And this was sa, and this is cha, cha, and this is cha, cha, and this was ka, and this one, ka. Ka, and this is a, and this is H sound, and ha, ha. Okay, they are the basic.
I, I told you these, these are the basics, but you know, basically these are the Korean consonants. And so we have some doubled ones. We can double this and this, and so we will talk about doubled consonants. But actually, that's it for Korean consonants. So we have learned most of the vowels and consonants. And we only have some um, double consonants. And also, you may be a little bit confused between this ba and pa, ta and ta, cha and cha, and ka and ka. So next time, um, let's practice those sounds, you know, differences in sound values, very similar but a little different, and also some doubled, some doubled, you know, consonants. Okay, 감사합니다. 수고하셨습니다. 감사합니다.